Today we're going to be taking a look at a bow roller assembly. This assembly replaces the bow roller, end bells, shaft, and hardware on your boat trailer. It's going to ease loading and unloading of your boat, and it's going to support the front of the boat as it sits on the trailer. really helps when it comes to absorbing road shock while the boat is being towed. The end bells ensure that your boat does not scrape along bolts or roller brackets. The unit's made from a thermal plasticized rubber TPR construction. It's a non-marking, non-scratching material. It is stronger and more durable than traditional rubber, and it's softer and more pliant than polyurethane. It's going to be yellow in color. All the hardware that it comes with is going to feature a zinc finish, which is going to do a great job at resisting rust and corrosion, and it's made right here in the USA. Now, this is designed to accept a 4-inch wide bracket. To get the bracket installed, you would simply kind of install one component at a time. Um, so you'd place the bracket on each side of the roller and then you would feed your hardware through each individual piece, piecing it all together. So that center shaft is what holds everything together. Bracket's not included, but again, it is designed to work with a four inch wide bracket. The shaft or bolt is gonna measure six inches long from the bottom of the bolt head to the end of the threaded portion. That's gonna give us a diameter of a half inch. When it comes to the dimensions of the roller, that's just this center piece here. That's going to give us a length measurement of around three and three quarters of an inch long. The diameter of the roller at the end, so at the widest point, it's going to be about three and one quarter of an inch in diameter. The end bell diameter at the widest point, that's going to be five and one quarter of an inch. And then at the attachment point, which would be this point right here, is about three and a half inches in diameter. The overall length of the unit, measuring edge to edge, it's going to be about seven and one quarter of an inch, but please keep in mind that's without the roller bracket installed. That's going to do it for today's look at the bow roller assembly. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.